All right, time for the next installment of the Beginner's Guide series. Today we will be playing Shivana. Um, if you have missed any of the Beginner's Guide series videos or want to see which ones I have done so far, there is a playlist in the description. And you can also, well, I mean, I upload daily, so you can also subscribe not to miss out on those uploads as well. So, yeah, let's get into this. I'm going to place a ward here at 50 seconds with a recall. Got a red trinket. This way I don't get invaded. Or like any type of steals. It is less likely to happen these days. But you might as well play it safe anyway. Oracle Lens having is uh, having Oracle Lens is really good for like ganks as well. Make clear towards top. Or just start with the best leash possible really. And just go for a nice full clear. Shivana does struggle a bit initially. Something to keep in mind. And the potion is going to be quite useful. Especially against like. Especially if you're facing early game junglers. You can theoretically clear without a potion, with a little bit of camp kiting, but the potion is definitely, like, very good. So, yeah. And now the runes I picked for Strike. You can also pick Dark Harvest when going this. I'm going for AP Shivana. Press the attack is also fine if you're going, like, the other version, a more AD, which is fine as well. But the first Strike, I pick over Dark Harvest when I'm facing tanks. And I was thinking I was going to face two here with uh, the Cho'Gath and the Nunu, but I think this Nunu is going to go AP instead so yeah i mean it's still good against like full squish cones as well but i generally like dark harvest a little bit better for those because it just helps with those one shots whereas if they are building very tanky the true damage that comes from first strike helps you a lot they're both good runes they're both very viable uh, first strike does provide a little bit more overall tempo with like gold value and stuff but less like i guess one shots i suppose both are fine it is completely up to you really it's getting shoved in. Our first priority is 100% full clearing here. Now for Shivana's abilities, uh, you have the E, which is just a skill shot, puts a dot behind, above the enemy's head here. Every time you auto attack someone with that dot thing above their head, they take max HP damage. Your W is a burn thing around you, which is damage over time, plus it gives you a movement speed boost. And your Q is an auto attack reset, which works twice. So you auto attack and you basically get two auto attacks like as a reset for free. Synergizes really well with things like um, Blade of the Rune King or Nashrus. Like, own hit effects are very good. So, yeah. Gonna clear here. As you can see, you don't need the potion to clear. But you do get quite low. And if you do get invaded without the potion, you're pretty much always dead. Your pet does two hits before it disappears. We're gonna just pop the potion and go for the top lane gank here. See if this is possible. Don't know where Nunu is. Got, got no clue, but let's send it. This guy's probably dead. I'm just gonna walk up to him and start hitting him with auto attacks. Hit him off with the flash, that's fine. I should have probably positioned myself slightly better there. I'm gonna help him push out the wave here so he gets the recall as quick as possible. My goal is not to take any of his farm here, I'm just gonna make sure it gets in there as quick as possible so he gets the back off for free, so without having to teleport. Very solid. I'll pick up a recurve bow first back. Helps you clear your camps a lot faster. What I just said earlier, like the uh, E. When you hit this, you want to auto attack on the mark that you hit. Uh, so, you basically, the more auto attacks you get on that, the better it is. Plus, it does on hit physical damage, so it procs twice off your Q. So it's very good to get initially. I'm going to walk to mid here real quick. So, I can kind of hold this a little bit. Try to maybe hold it outside of turret. Katarina had to back off. Put the pressure on this guy. Have some time to stretch here. Also, I'm going to get a cannon for my efforts here. Right now, this means that this guy can't push this into the turret. So he's actually kind of hurting quite a bit here. Because this is now going to be outside the turret. Katarina is going to come back and we're going to be fine here. There we go. That's good enough for me. Kriana now didn't get a good chance to recall. So she's going to have to take a bad back. Which is quite painful. I still had some time to stretch there. Because my camps weren't necessarily up yet. And I can take some time on mid to really ruin that Kuyana's time. Because now the Kuyana has to deal with the fact that she doesn't get a good recall. Because she either has to like deal with the Katarina the entire time or like something, you know. Katarina should have a pretty big advantage at the moment. I mean, this could get ruined by like any type of Nunu gank, of course. But yeah. Uh, I kind of don't know where Nunu is. I could look for this dragon, potentially. Which would be quite nice. 
But I would love to see like a Nunu Gang top lane here or something at the moment. That would be very beneficial for me. I don't know if this is possible. I smell fear. He's not doing drag. There's the Nunu here. He hasn't recalled yet, so he's in a disadvantage there. I won't be able to finish Dragon here, but he's also not going to be able to do anything there, so I guess it's fine. I go. Let's go do my topside camps. As long as neither of us can do Dragon, that's fine. He's getting some good CS, though. Pretty sure he got both Scuttles first as well, which is fair enough. I will always prioritize a gank over getting the first, like any of the, any of the first scuttles. So me, for me, getting that Cho'Gath gank off was worth more than the scuttle any day. Because that scuttle doesn't give any experience anyway, just gives some gold. And the gank was obviously better. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do this camp instantly recall. Then without, like with that scuttle timing on flip side, I should be able to get the dragon when the Nunu goes for it, hopefully. That's what, kind of what I think that's going to happen. He's chilling top. He's probably going to go for like top scuttle here and I'm just going to cheese him with a dragon on top of it. That's my plan at least. Wait for a little bit of health. There's a scuttle spawn on top side. We're just going to sprint down to dragon right away. Don't type that in all chat. I'm going to go do dragon. Katarina is probably going to look for that bot lane rotation for the gank play. But I really should do blue first. At this moment in time, that's going to give me my level 6. Yeah, I'll do blue first. It's fine. I think with the pressure I have on bot lane right now, it should be fine. Very good double kill from Katarina. It also gives me my dragon form ready to go. Right, we'll just clear this. Please, don't both... Ah, oh, they're both 1 HP, I suppose. Okay, maybe too greedy on my end then. I don't know. I guess I greeted. I didn't realize they were that low. Damn. I mean, there was still a plant there. Maybe. I, I just greeted, didn't I? I didn't realize they were that low. I didn't realize Katarina was 1 HP. I was only really looking at, like, Jin, and he was, like, half, so he could have maybe showed up, but even then... I kind of... that That's my bad. I trolled that. 100%. I just thought Katarina had more HP. She definitely didn't. So I am just blind. Confirmed. Very cringe. It's one free dragon to the enemy team. Smite here. Before I do anything, I have to make sure I get my uh, dragon form back. I should be able to, like, do wolves and then gank bot lane. Smite here as well. I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, I might have to walk this way actually. Oh, you are going. Okay. That's the wrong direction. Why is this control warded, really? Damn. I should be able to get this guy, hopefully. Especially he goes for the next wave. If he doesn't, then maybe not, but. Nope, he plays very safe. The enemies of Demacia will fall. Uh, Nunu is somewhere there. I'm gonna have to like take my time. The Herald probably here. So. I think that control right there kind of ruins my kill potential. I wonder if Nunu is like actually bolt here or if he's like going for Herald. Because I'm just doing Harold right now because I think he's going for a bolt. Okay, he's top lane. I think I just finished this. They're gonna over chase and I should be able to clean. That's what I'm hoping for at least. Kill. I don't know if I can get this guy. I may might be able to get this guy depending on what he does. Not gonna be enough damage. I'm just gonna use the Herald. Pressure this down. Send it. Get some, mesh get some money off this. Two plates. Very good. Teleport used as well from Cho'Gath. 
I might as well get the free 350 out of that so I get the extra money. That, get, that Herald just gave me a lot of cash for doing what I just did. Because the Herald itself gives me money and then that gave me money as well. So I'm going to have my massive recall here for the Nashus and that's when we start like actually ruining them. Like Nashus is the power spike for Shivana that's just absolutely destructive. You pick that up and the enemy is in trouble instantly. So that's going to be very good. Need to make sure I got my dragon form back here. I may be able to look for like a gank mid, but I think I'm just going to prioritize the recall. I have to make sure I don't grief the next dragon. That's a very crucial thing I need to do. I'm just going to recall right after this and I can walk out of base, clear my both side camps, potentially look for a bolt play. I have money here. This is going to be great. Oh, that's not good. It's my bolt is uh, kind of dying see it here i don't want that i want these let's get this perfect we just market coming in i might as well pick up the control ward there i'm already in debt that money that you have to pay for futures mark is always the same as 50 gold so okay some spots let's all let's just ask it like that because this is a free double kill waiting to happen especially if the plants here if the plants here are dead it ooh, might not be dead now they may survive potentially there is a ward here. They are still dead because they didn't pay attention to it quick enough. So goodbye, I guess. Should be fine. All I have to do is walk up to this guy. He has no way to get out now. So let's... Oh. oh, timed out. That's very unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, dude, my dra- <laughs> Yeah, sure, there's nothing I could have done about that. She can ping me all she likes, but my dragon form timed out. If it didn't time out, I could have maybe bursted her for like half, but like... Getting Kuyana ulted there is definitely not something I'm looking for, you know? That could blast me as well. If I didn't- if I still had my dragon form up, I absolutely- I would have just gone for that, I would have sent it, and I would have just, yeah, engaged, but yeah. Alas, that wasn't the case. I need to make sure I get this dragon. Why oh, it's not up for another 25? Luna's going full AP though, so I just delete that dude off the map. Am I gonna do this? Let's put it out, pull it out of the thing here, let's see real quick. This could end up being bad. Okay, there's the Nunu. Just gonna rotate to the bolt gank right away. We get him off the map as well. This shouldn't do enough damage to me. There we go. Sit down. That's what I thought. Let's get the dragon real quick now. Obviously, in that situation, we have to respond to the play. So that's what we do. Put this down. I'll quickly get this dragon down as well. And it benefits me a lot that this Nuno is not going to go tank. Because squishies are very easy for me to kill, obviously. This is nice. Uh, I have a triple kill and don't have red buff, so there's a good chance this red's up. There it is. Should be able to get this before he gets here. Also, I'm like hitting this camp consistently now to get my dragon form back for the mid play. Okay, well, he just died, unfortunately. I, didn't, I wanted to get my dragon form back first. Let's get this guy. Yeah. I suppose I could have technically done it slightly faster without my dragon form but like this guy's crazy for doing that to me in dragon form i'm just gonna hit third use more of your hp please thank you plus 50 gold for me there as well very nice we'll be able to finish third here i think gonna be big money first third of the game yes it is perfect Check is blue. Should be here. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I need to hit this as much as, as fast as I can. I don't know if I can help him actually. I might be in trouble a bit with my dragon form. I missed that one. She should still be dead, but I missed my E unfortunately. 
I wanted to like E and then insta flesh queue him to just get him off right away. Kill him right away. Dude, I have so much money I need to back. Uh, Rift Herald spawning in 15 seconds though. Like I'm debating whether I recall now or whether I go Rift Herald first. It depends kind of on what Nunu does because I'm not too worried about having to fight the Nunu if it comes down to it right now. I think I should still be fine. I do have my dragon form up. I'm sticking around a little bit here, even though I have like 4,500 gold, which is absolutely crazy, of course. I'm kind of sticking around to see what's going to go on right now. No push on mid lane, which means bot lane is in trouble, probably. I went for the top play. I think I can do the Herald here. Pretty sure I should be able to do the Herald here, because Nunu is quite low now. I, 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 I guess he's full HP, but he's never going to check this right, surely. I don't think he's going to go for this. I think I just have this for free. Keep hitting it, hitting it. I mean, obviously, this is a bit risky on the one hand, but on the other hand, we see that like, the bot lane is fine. The biggest risk, obviously, is the amount of money that I have. But I was going to be safe for the most part. So, okay, so no Magi's this game. We're not going to worry with that. Going to go double large throat and buy one more control ward for a potential next dragon. Very good cleanup from Katarina. That's what we like to see. I'm not going for Magi's. You can still hold onto the Dark Seal if you want and just do that. But I won't go for the Magi's since this is like... I know a lot of people have trouble with holding on to Magi's stacks and stuff like that. So I will not be doing that for this beginner's video purposes. But otherwise, I would have 100% bought a Magi's there. No doubt. If you want to go for Magi's, it's definitely good. It's very beneficial. The 10% movement speed increase you gain from it if you have 10 stacks is really good with Shivana W. So all of that synergizes really well, but it's up to you completely. I won't do it here because I, I know people struggle with Magi's stacks. Dead. I'm gonna run at Nunu here real quick. I don't know why he would ult that, but okay. Mm. That's a that's a lot of damage there on Caitlyn. I do a lot of damage. She walked into my E as well. Yeah, fair. Dude, that Caitlyn lost all of her health in one go. Let's go for turret here. Dragon's gonna spawn in like 50 seconds. I should be able to, because they're still dead, I'm just going to put the Herald down. I'm just going to get this turret down here as well. I still have like five seconds. I maybe didn't even need the Herald at all. Okay, well. Don't hit me on the wall. Actually, I'm not going to go for any of this. I'm just going to leave. He's dead. That's, uh, that's fine. May have to rotate mid here. Need to go hit Scuttle, get my dragon form real quick. This dragon's gonna be 19 seconds. Game's pretty close. It might look like it's uh, like we're far ahead or something. Or like I'm doing really well, sure, but it's 18 against 22. Actually, very close. I'm pretty confident I should be able to carry this, but you know, it's definitely something to uh, think about here. If I yoink this dragon, Nunu shouldn't be in a position for this. I hope. I need to just burst it out. Oh boy, this is scary. This is very scary. Please don't kill me, Nunu. Or don't kill my dragon. What I'm asking mostly killing me is kind of fine. I'm not losing any Magi stacks anyway. Dead. Ooh, God. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. Yep. That's exactly what I was worried about. <laughs> Damn. I don't think I had a way out there anymore. Really sad, actually. That's a pretty damn good kill for the Nunu, I'm not gonna lie. That's a big, big one to get for him. But we don't have Magi's here. We're just gonna go for Lich Bane. Lich Bane works really well for Burst, so that's what we're gonna send here. I could technically get a Banshees, actually. Banshees is a good idea. I think about that right now, but actually makes a lot of sense here. I'm gonna do Banshees. Banshees is gonna prevent me from getting absolutely deleted by Nunu and also getting like CC'd by Quiana Ultimate. By like Seraphine Ultimate, by Chogath's knock up. There's a lot that this benefits me for. Actually, this is definitely the play, Benchies, 100%. The magic resist is great against their team as well. For the Nunu just one shotting me, that wouldn't happen. That won't happen again. Yeah, this is the play for sure. Nunu just got a thousand gold off me, so that was definitely worth it for him. But you know, 
I don't lose anything because I don't really lose any Magi stacks. I mostly just give something. That's the, that's the advantage, I suppose, of not running Magi's. You don't have to worry about your death as much. I'm hitting my camps right now to get my Dragon Form first. Um, also, a connecting Dragon Form is huge. I'm close to a level up right now. Flashed into me. I don't think he saw me. Maybe a little too tunnel vision there, buddy. First Strike is giving me 700 additional gold. Like, that's a good thing about First Strike as well. Just getting the extra tempo gold off of it is huge. Connect the ultimate on these people. Just a one shot them real quick. I'm gonna smite you then. This time I should be fine. And dead. Okay, well, I got the kill. Let's go, Baron. I think I just Baron here. I don't think we can end. Baron. Are they gonna go for third? We don't have a really have a minion wave either. It's just a Baron angle. And this is simply just a Baron angle. Like we don't we don't have the opportunity to end because their respawn timers are too low. So we also don't have a minion wave to like push turret, so we have one play left, and that's basically just Baron. Also, ideally you don't want to tank Baron, because it gives you 50% less damage to Baron if you have the hand debuff, this one. And I by far do the most damage to Baron, obviously, because my E procs maximum HP damage. So we'll do a lot there. Have some time here, make sure to get the Dragon Form nicely. And then clear the rest of these camps as well. Very good. Ooh. Get my Banshees here. Get this and then we'll go for this next. Get the movement speed component. And I might as well buy a blue pulp because most likely I'll have enough gold for the Lich Bane anyway on the next recall. Especially with Futures Market. So the blue pulp value is just going to be extra fight potential. Okay. Holding on to Dragon Form there because he's most likely going to go in anyway. Go for it. Oh my god, I'm going to CC Lord! He's dead. <laughs> she got scared. She might still get it. I, I don't think I kill her. Yeah, I don't kill her. Still some extra cash though. Walk for the top third here, I suppose. Put this down. The potion also does a, a significant amount of extra damage for this, which is quite nice. There we go. I think that's pretty solid. Finish off with Lich Bane here. I would get a Void Staff, but I don't have to worry about magic resist, so the Void Staff isn't necessary. Lich Bane is better. And yeah, that is it for Shivana. I will see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here as well, I ended up doing 24.5k damage, which is by far the most. This probably would have scaled exponentially, because I was starting to delete people very heavily, so that's going to be a lot of damage very quickly. But yeah, still relative early game, I would say. True damage done at about 2.2k as a combination of first strike and smite. We have objective damage at 70.6k. This is obviously the biggest thing. As Shivana, objective control is one of your biggest things. You have to make sure you get those dragons, get the Rift Heralds. Very core thing of the uh, of the champion. So the objective damage obviously should be huge. It should be the highest, especially if you're winning. And yeah, very very much something to focus on. No healing done, obviously. There is nothing to heal. The damage taken at 26.3k. Self-mitigated damage at 20k as well. Gold earned at 17k, which is like pretty practically double the rest of the game <laughs> close enough at least we have damage or rune damage here runes uh first strike dealt about 1100 damage which is very respectable 23 minute game like very good damage about a thousand extra gold this thousand gold is essentially just this extra wisp but just a bunch of extra tempo throughout the build that's why first strike is quite nice i still like prefer the dark harvest into full squish combs because it just helps with one shots a little bit more uh, than first strike does but first strike definitely provides a lot of tempo it's very much better against tanks because of the additional true damage you get from it makes bursting tanks a bit easier so that's yeah first strike both of them are viable though like there's no bad choice between first strike or dark harvest 
Magical footwear for just boots, so I don't have to buy them. I can just rush my Nashers. Jesus Market to go alongside this, rush the Nashers faster. Treasure Hunter and Eyeball Collection on the secondary one to gain the extra gold from Treasure Hunter mostly to gain a bunch of tempo throughout the game. There are other viable secondary pages like Gathering Storm and Transcendence, for example. Transcendence being something that helps you with getting more ease off in teamfights if it comes down to it. But for the overall value, if you're running this, just the gold income is the best because you want to get your Nashers as quickly as possible because that's when your game essentially starts. That's when Shivana starts to become strong. So, uh, yeah, that is it for Shivana, though. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.